It has taken eight years and about $1.5 billion to be able to get here. And I should explain, I'm clinging on to the side of this boat because the current actually in the sand is so strong that if I don't, I'll quickly be swept downstream. It's taken huge amounts of money, huge amounts of time. Even a month ago, it wasn't clear whether this event here today, where the Paris mayor and, and I and a bunch of other Parisians have been able to jump into the Seine. And until about a month ago, this would have seemed completely impossible. What's changed, according to specialists who talked to us about the water quality, is the fact that they've managed to complete one huge infrastructure project upstream that collects a lot of the sewage and the rainwater that used to pollute the Seine so much, bringing E. coli levels dangerously high. This would have been impossible even a couple of weeks ago. Still, the point of today's event is to show people that it's safe, to reassure the world ahead of the, ahead of the Paris Games. Remember that it isn't just the opening ceremony that's going to be held for the first time ever on a river, not in a stadium. It is also the swimming events, things like marathon swimming, the swimming part of the triathlon. We've spoken to a bunch of athletes who are extremely concerned about whether or not it's going to happen. Today, the conditions are fine. The current's very strong, but the sun is out. The pollution levels are down. Still, it remains in question whether the conditions will be as good when it comes time for the events. What Paris officials say is that they plan so that they can do the events on different days and give time for the conditions to change. But for today, I can report, Rosemary, that whilst the current is exceptionally strong, uh, it's actually really not as smelly as I thought it would be and feels not quite clean but certainly swimmable.